Hello guys, welcome to Joe's Special Tube. Today I will show you how to delineate multiple watershed using digital elevation model data with the help of ArcGIS. Before we go to the main session, I would like to remind you to subscribe my YouTube channel, hit the bell to gain some kind of notification and update from my channel. Uh, before we are trying to delineate a watershed, I would like to say something about the required data and the software that I used to delineate watershed and the general steps that we follow uh, throughout the process. As far as the required data and software is concerned, two main types of data were used. The first one is the shape file. The shape file is the area of interest and the area of interest can be any watershed boundary or any administrative boundary. And for this case, I would like to use the administrative boundary, which is found in the southern world zone in Hamara regional state, namely called Warrailu district. And the digital elevation model with a spatial resolution of 20 meter is uh, applied for this purpose. As far as the software is concerned, ArcGIS version 10.8 is applicable and different steps are followed to delineate the watershed. Let's get started. First of all, uh, we are expected to open our arc map. This is the arc map. As I have mentioned earlier, I have used uh, the digital elevation model of Ethiopia with a spatial resolution of 20 meter and the administrative boundary of Oral Orad. So this is uh, my area of interest. This boundary is the area of interest. So the first step to delineate watershed is extract the area of interest based on the shape file. So to do that, the first step that we follow is we are expected to open arc toolbox then go to spatial analyst tool after having this there are ample amount of options and tool sets that are applicable for different purposes and we go to extraction what we are going to do is double click on extract by mask then this dialog box is appear and the input raster is the larger data set of the the digital elevation model of Ethiopia with a spatial resolution of 10 meter. Here the input raster or feature uh, mask data is the vector data or uh, my area of interest. In this case, Warailu Warada is my area of interest. And finally, I'll give the name for uh, the output. Select your destination folder. And finally, you can uh, set your working directory as well. Let me put it here, dm or ILU. This is the clipped out digital elevation model. My task is successfully accomplished and here is the extracted digital elevation model and I would like to remove the larger data set of the digital elevation model of Ethiopia. So this is my area of interest and the digital elevation model is clipped out. The second uh, step is fill the team. Fill the team. To do that, go to hydrology toolset, and here there is fill. Fill is uh, one of all, one of the tools that helps us to remove small imperfection which is found on the digital elevation model. And if there is any error, we can fill it. So to do so, uh, the input surface raster is the digital elevation model of the area of interest and re give the name fill dm, then save it and hit OK. So uh, there is no any difference between the lower and the minimum and the maximum value of the digital elevation model of uh, Warailu district and the field data so I would like to remove uh, this the next step is uh, calculating or generating flow direction map of uh, the area of interest then hit flow direction and the input surface raster is the field de digital elevation model and let me give flow direction or let me say FDR 
as far as flow direction is concerned we have uh, eight kinds of flow direction for instance this is the DN value of raster and the flow direction of any river or uh, any uh, slope can be uh, classified into the following aspect for instance this is east this is north this is southeast this is south and here is the southwestern part this is west and in between 64 and 6, uh, 16 is 32 this nomenclature or this indicates that the northwestern direction so any water body that is from highland is drained towards this lowland but uh, with a different direction so this is uh, the flow direction therefore the input surface raster is uh, digital field digital deviation model and the output flow direction raster is flow direction or FDR this is a flow direction map of uh, my area of interest and the next step is flow accumulation since a certain water body raised from the highland and drained towards the lowland area they carry large amount of water and uh, sediment and they deposit to the lower area due to this reason the input flow direction is FDR and the output accumulation raster is flow accumulation so hit ok this is the flow accumulation map of my area of interest at the map indicates that the black one is the higher area and this is the lower area so water and uh, any kind of sediments are drained from the highland towards the lowland area is deposited along the riverside so uh, this is the flow, the flow accumulation map of uh, my area of interest uh, what i have going to do next is uh, go to map algebra and click raster calculator i would like to uh, take the flow accumulation greater than or equal to 2000 then the output raster will be rig class rig flow accumulation great this is a, a rig class flow accumulation map of my area of interest so uh, this map indicated that here there are different kinds of streams that is drained from uh, different uh, direction and they join the main river the uh, main river and the tributaries are joined at a certain point this point is known as confluence based on the confluence point we will generate the pore points to do so what we are going to do is go to the R catalog this is my catalog and let me uh, create the pore points make it right click here new create shape file then let me say outlet outlet so uh, the feature the feature type is point because uh, i would like to create a point data because the main river and the distributaries are uh, joined at a certain locality and this is represented by points so the uh, coordinate reference system of the point is uh, have to be similar with a raster data my raster data coordinate reference system is wgs9084 utm zone 37 so i would like to select this hit ok and make it okay after having this you are expected to active the editor then go to editor and start edit select the outlet then make it okay now the uh, editor tool toolbars are become active and uh, select create feature click here then select the outlet and the construction tool is point because I have assigned the shape file as point data so click here 
as I have mentioned earlier here is uh, the tributary and they join to the main river and flow to the lower area and to uh, delineate uh, a multiple watershed in a certain geographic area we are expected to point the pore points in a certain junction to do so here is river x and river y they are joined here so we are expected to put the port point here so click here this is one of the uh, junction or the outlet or the port point between two rivers and let me add another uh, port point put it here another uh, point then let us add some other pointers to delineate multiple watershed here let me add another put it here here this to here all these points are the outlet or the port points of the river built on this point uh, i would like to uh, delineate multiple watershed before we make it save edit go to the outlet open attribute then we have five outlets or four port points and make it uh, give uh, the identical id for each port points to do so this is one two three four five six after having this go to editor and stop edit do you want to save edit yes then i have created the port point and finally i would like to draw or uh, generate multiple watershed in uh, my steady area all these are the port points that we have uh, generated and based on this port point we are trying to generate a different watershed then go to arc toolbox what we are going to do is go to hydrology tool set and uh, select watershed then the input raster is flow direction and input raster or feature port point is the port the outlet and the port point field is id because we gave different uh, identical ids so finally watershed water sheet is my output raster make it okay this is the final output as i have mentioned earlier this is the largest watershed one two three four and five all those watershed are generated by creating the port point the next is uh, we are expected to convert this uh, raster file to uh, the polygon uh, to do that go to the conversion tool then here is an option of from raster and raster to polygon the input raster is the watershed that we have delineated then the field is value and vector watershed watershed save it then okay so make it uncheck all this all does add the watershed boundaries of uh, any area if you are interested to uh, work your project in this watershed you can use any watershed uh, this is all about how to delineate watershed if you have any question or any suggestion please welcome I think this video is helpful. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a good day.